Welcome to part 4 with more on motion blur and the phasing out or death of the common refresh rate. Samsung, probably one of the biggest television manufacturers out there, has a feature named Auto Motion Plus in a few of its TV models. If you feel you get that soap opera effect, just go into your television settings and switch it off or change it until you get the image you like. Naturally, each manufacturer has its own technology to deal with motion smoothing. I'm sure you understand that there. Product managers, marketing folks, have to call it differently. Sony names it Motion Flow, Sharp Equimotion. Toshiba's terminology is Clear Frame or Clear Scan. LG True Motion. US company Vizio named it Smooth Motion. At least manufacturers for the most part are doing a good job to give you an option to tweak what we called earlier motion interpolation so you get a final television image that you can cherish did i just see you nod off wake up wake up it gets more confusing please here's the last problem with refresh rates it is the fact that manufacturers gradually abandon it replacing it with their own marketing gobbledygook. Just put yourself in the shoes of a television product manager. Oh, you're not wearing any shoes, are you? What's wrong with walking barefoot? You want to position your television brand differently, better than your competition. The easiest way to do that is to take standard expressions like refresh, rate and replace them with your own made-up terms. I guess the next step is having the audacity to trademark them, if they haven't started already. That is strategy, that is campaign, my man. Me, the simple old soldier that I am, I am so proud of these product managers. They could have marketed my extensive campaigns across Europe to the local population. Then I would have never thought that the biggest mistake of my life was not to have burned Berlin to the ground when I had the chance. Those managers would have told me that. Impossible is a word to be found only in the dictionary of fools. Okay, so coming up with motion enhancement. Technologies like Sony's motion flow and others was the first step. The next step is to use those terms but combine them with the innocent, simple refresh. Right. So when you stand in front of a Sony television in a store you might see. Motion flow 480 Hz. Or with Samsung you would see CRM, which is short for Clear Motion Rate, and 480 Hz. LG has True Motion with a Hertz number. Sharp. Equimotion plus a Hertz number. Toshiba. Clear Scan plus a Hertz number. You do see where this is going, right? If you can compare an apple with an apple, but your competitor's apple is bigger than yours, which apple is going to get? But, got it? What if you could hide the fact that it's in apple? What if it was a pear or a peach, but the competitor's apple is now a prune? Yeah, laugh all you want. What does this all mean to you, the consumer? More and more a common denominator of all televisions, the refresh rate is fading into the background, being replaced by a combined aggregate and highly proprietary terms, made up by manufacturers. But isn't that a step backward? A step into a land of confusion. If I stand in front of a Sony television, and it says Motion Flow XR 240Hz, and next to it Samsung is saying Clear Motion Rate 240Hz, which one shall I take? It's funny but the attempt at obfuscation by the manufacturers, at least some of them, is not working. Because at least in the US, the actual native refresh rate is still mentioned in the television specifications. Online, on large retailer sites like Amazon or in television reviews. But you will no longer find it in most of the manufacturers. Specifications. In Europe the refresh rate seems to have been phased out completely. You can check out certain country sites of electronic stores, going through the section of Samsung TVs and only see Samsung's proprietary 
clear motion rate plus a hertz number, but no neutral refresh rate. Same goes for other manufacturers that push proprietary numbers. But here is the funny thing, when every manufacturer is pushing its own numbers, you can work out the actual, original, or native refresh rate again. The rule of thumb for the big is Samsung. And Sony is simple, divide their proprietary numbers by two and you get the native refresh rate. If you come across a Hertz number higher than 480, then you might even divide it by 4, as we haven't seen any LED TVs with an actual true refresh rate higher than 240 Hertz. By doing so you again have apples, and you can compare them with other apples if you want. Please note though that each manufacturer is using motion enhancement differently, so even if you know the exact classic refresh rate, it's still different. That bears the question, how important is the refresh rate anyway these days? Yes, somewhat important, but I recommend if you have the time to read individual reviews on each television that caught your interest. Find out what the experts that do all the television testing are saying. Andy did a good job in taking 10 of most highly regarded experts and linking to their reviews from one easy place. If that doesn't satisfy you, and you have the necessary time and energy, head off to your local electronics store to actually get a feel of the picture. Don't worry if a store clerk comes up with jargon terms like clear motion rate in the case of Samsung televisions. With the above explanation we gave you, no proprietary terms that are just made up by marketing people can put you off. You are armed already with valuable information taken from the best television reviewers, so all you really want is look at the display. Remember that the salespeople in the stores are just doing their jobs. They have no way of knowing how much you know or don't know. If you tell them that you gathered some television information but you would like to look at the overall picture, most of them politely will leave you alone. By the way, we have talked about the most popular televisions at the moment here, the LED LCD televisions. Plasma televisions don't really need higher refresh rates because motion blur is not a problem, but from a marketing standpoint who's going to buy a plasma TV if its refresh rate is less, yes less than those of a LED TV, so you will see plasma TVs with refresh rates of 600 Hz or more. If you're going for a plasma, then buy all means Google plasma and 600 Hz because it's just too long to put it into this movie. In part 5 we look at more television jargon that could influence your buying decision. Goodbye from us. There is one more part to go in the series if you still have the strength to watch.